Brock Bowers is a mismatch nightmare. Ignore the Twitter rumors. The Georgia tight end wins in a multitude of ways. So let's take a look at the All-22 together and I'll show you why Bowers is the ideal pick for the New York Jets. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are finally back. It's the return of the film room and we're jumping straight into the Brock Bowers film. We're a week away from the NFL draft and there's a ton of conjecture around his tape. That he's a screen merchant. He's a beneficiary of the Georgia scheme. I just think he's an elite prospect. I was big on Sam Laporta last year and it's because he separated at the stem, he made contested catches and he could block in line. Bowers is Laporta on steroids. So let's start by looking at his vertical route tree, how he separates and how he can win one on one. Brock Bowers, right hand side of your screen and the Georgia formation in the slot. Have a look at him isolated, one on one against the DB, head fake to the outside, crosses and makes a great catch away from his frame. This is Bowers to a T. Chuck on the Auburn game, the Alabama game. He does this so frequently and so easily. Look at the subtle nuance in his route running. Freeze it right here. Have a little head fake to the outside. We're going to open up the hips of the DB. He's now in poor position. We attack the leverage we've created, and that's how you separate in the NFL against safeties and against linebackers. He is a mismatch nightmare. He has speed, acceleration, and this kind of subtlety to his route running, and that's why he's going to succeed at the next level. And here's another great example of Bowers running away from defenders, this time against zone. He's the number three receiver from the slot left-hand side, but I want you to watch off the snap how he eats into the cushion of the defender so quickly with that acceleration, that get off speed, and right now he's in a prime position. But again, it's the nuance and the details to his route running. He's angling to the inside of the formation, he freezes the defensive back, now look at the sail route, snaps it off, and he's literally sprinting away from the linebacker. This is far too easy for Brock Bowers. It's that combination of athletic freak show plus the details to his game that allow him to be incredible as a route runner and to separate frequently. This was littered on the film from this game against Auburn, and you're going to see a couple of clips that are just phenomenal coming up right now. So we looked at his ability to separate. That's not a question for me at all. Against man, against zone but contested catches and that security blanket over the middle is a huge role of the tight end, and Brock Bowers is elite in that capacity. Left-hand side of your screen from the end zone angle, I want you to watch how even though he's bracketed, Brock Bowers makes a ridiculous one-handed snag and picks up an easy 30 yards for Georgia. But right here, it's about the communication with the quarterback, the understanding, back shoulder ball, like, guys, this is freakish. He just throws that right arm back, stabs that ball out of the air, and makes it look like it's nothing. The highlight plays were phenomenal, but it's the ability to separate paired with the ability to make contested catches that make me believe that Brock Bowers is a must-take for the Jets at number 10 if he's there. I love his game. I love the fit with Aaron Rodgers, and I just think he is phenomenal in his capacity as well. And one more example, this time is the inline tight end. You have to show you have versatility, not just a big slot like a Kyle Pitts. Right hand side, number 19, have a look at the intelligence here. You've got middle field open. That means two deep safeties. Brock Bowers doesn't try and sprint away from the defense and come flying across the left-hand side of your screen. He sits down in the middle of the field, understands, and then once again at the catch point, circus. One hand catch away from his body, moving with two defenders about to hit him. Brock Bowers is absolutely sensational. But once again, I don't want you to overlook the minor details. Understand the defensive formation. It's middle field open. Sit down and then let your athletic capabilities take over. What an absolute machine. So we've already established that Bowers can separate vertically as a route runner. 
I just drooled over the contested catches against Auburn, but this is the cherry on top. The real strength of Bauer's game is his freakish yards after catch ability. Here he is on the left-hand side of your screen, but I want you to watch how he earns the target. Sinks the hips, great job running the dig, but now look at him after the catch. Stiff arm, balance after contact, and breakaway speed. This is a rare combination, guys. Have a look at this route first of all. Ah, just separates so easily like we talked about, but then we've got ball in the right arm, stiff arm. Look at the balance. He's like a freight train in the open field. Bowers has every single skill set you need to be successful at the tight end position, and he is that true difference maker. Was this a one-off? You better believe it wasn't. Here's a great rep of him in the open field. A little motion here on a rub route. You're going to see Bowers get the football, freeze it right here. You've got a defender in his face, two yards behind the line of scrimmage, two other white jerseys flying to the left-hand side of your screen. Bowers balance after contact, beat that first tackle, and then look at the speed to get north-south and steal the first down. I understand why people think he's a screen merchant. It's because he's also elite after the catch, but this is just an additional benefit to his game. He can get open frequently, he can win over the middle, and this is... This is just a cherry on top. But this might be the most important part of today's film breakdown. Bowers is an incredible pass catching threat. We've already been over that, but you can't maximize that and the mismatch ability I talked about unless you're a dominant run blocker. Because otherwise, the defense doesn't respect you. They'll come out in nickel and dime and you're going one on one against corners rather than bigger personnel packages. Good news for you guys, Brock Bowers is a dog in the run game. Left-hand side of your screen, have a look at this rep at full speed. Against Auburn, one-on-one -on -one against a 270-pound defensive end, and he finishes in the dirt with aggression. So many minor details I love about this clip. Hits his spot at the line of scrimmage, at the point of attack, outside shoulder, hips to the outside, frees it right here, he's winning the rep. But then look at the back half of this clip. Engage the lower half, work those legs through the block, and that's a pancake. That is a nasty man. He may only be 240 pounds, but Brock Bowers can be dominant as a Y inline tight end, and that flexibility is going to help him a ton. But it's not just power. It's not just outside zone. Have a look at this rep as a pin-pull blocker. To the right-hand side of your screen, does a fantastic job trapping the defensive end and hip flexibility to open up the lane. And this time it's a touchdown for the Georgia Bulldogs. What I love about it though is the hip flip. I talk about this with tackles all the time. He gets to the outside and bang, freeze it right here. Bowers has his back to the running back. He's opened up the hole. He sealed the defender to the inside. That is perfect technique and it results in seven points. I just love someone who is willing to get their hands dirty, who can be a difference maker against defensive linemen, and that's what Brock Bowers has shown me. One more clip. Let's show more versatility of Bowers as a blocker. This time, out in the space, he's detached from the line of scrimmage. We've got a little screen game. We know he can catch screens. We know he's great after the catch, but look at him out in front as a blocker. Just take this defensive back for a ride. We are talking 15, 20 yards, just absolutely marching him down the field. This is fantastic. He keeps his hands to the inside. His feet are moving throughout the block. This is teaching tape from Brock Bowers, and I hope you guys can see this was littered on the film. So guys, that's why I'm in love with Brock Bowers, the prospect, and his fit with the New York Jets. He can be a difference maker in the running game as a blocker. He gives you that versatility, but he may be the most special athlete at the tight end position that I've ever evaluated. He does it in a multitude of ways. He gets open, and he's going to be Aaron Rodgers' best friend.